Guys, we're back at Disneyland today. There is so much to do. I'm telling you right now, there's so many foods that we're gonna go check out. Disneyland just dropped these, so we want you guys to check them out because there's just so, so many. many. So get your tummies ready and let's do this thing. We're gonna have a lot of fun, guys. So why don't you guys join us today on this, this wonderful, wonderful world, world of food. food. Here we go. So like I said, today Disneyland dropped a lot of foods. There's foods here at Jolly Holiday. There's gonna be some at the Hungry Bear, at the Mint Julep Bar, even over at Disney's California Adventure. There's gonna be a lot of foods to go through today. So. Like Janelle said, I hope you're hungry because we're gonna have a lot of fun. So the first one is at Jolly Holiday and we actually did mobile order because this sandwich, you guys, when you see it, it looks really good in pictures. Just wait, just wait. So we're already at the Jolly Holiday. I love this place. I love the baked goods. I love the Jolly Holiday combo, which is a nice cheese sandwich with tomato basil soup. It's so good with melty cheese. But right now, we're gonna get these foods. Come on. So here you have the Bedia cheese sandwich. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's getting popular, huh? Yeah, it is. I'm excited that's here at Jolly Holiday. And we have a side of consomme. So let's go ahead and... There's the consomme. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and sink it in there. Here we go, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, honestly, this is the best sandwich I had here at Jolly Holiday. The birria is nice and juicy and pulls the meat together nicely. You also have that green chili, which is like a little extra kick. That gooey cheese is the winner, you guys. Oh my god, that gooey cheese. I'm sorry, I just have to do it one more time. As you can tell, like, look at this. She loved it. <laughs> day it is here today at Disneyland, right? It's a gorgeous day. Oh, the Disneyland Railroad right behind us. Always a good sight and a good sound. That's always the best part. The sights and the sounds of Disneyland, it really warms our hearts. There it goes. So we're heading over to Critter Country where there's a bunch of critters in this country, but inside this little country, there's a place called Hungry Bear where there's lots of more food. So follow me, my usual. Hungry Bear is a place where you can come and get hamburgers, you can get tasty lemonades, and you can also get like french fries and onion rings. But right now we're gonna get some chili cheese onion rings and chili cheese french fries and two new items. Come on. And I can't believe Disney just dropped all this food like out of the blue. I just, know. They said whatever. I mean, I'm not mad about it. The more food, the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> they said the foodies are here and they're hungry. So let's let's sprinkle it here. You're gonna have it all. Take it all. Whoa, look at this a little Mickey on top. Yeah, oh. I tried. Oh, <laughs> well, it's beautiful. Would you look at this, guys? Whoa! I'm so we got you. fries, onion rings. We got our burger. Oh, and there is a tasty-looking sandwich. sandwich. Green tomato. Now that used to be very popular here, and they got rid of it. I know. And what now the heck? they brought it back. Yeah, there's some chili cheese fries, chili cheese onion rings, chili cheese burger, and a slushy. Well, they said foodies. Oh, you know, we came over. <laughs> <laughs> we came running. We came running. <laughs> Perfect place to sit, and there is the Disneyland Railroad. I love it. Wow, all for me too. <laughs> I don't think so. So Hungry Bear, I got myself the fried green tomato sandwich. It has heirloom tomatoes, it has Havarti cheese. It also has a Mica mango slaw, and it comes with a side of fries, but actually upgraded for $1.89 to chili cheese Whoa. onion rings. I know. <laughs> My mouth is watery, so let's just dig in. Here we go. Oh, be careful, don't stab yourself. <laughs> you guys, I don't know if Dizzy's having like a sandwich today, but Jolly Holiday is popping off. This sandwich is also popping off. You guys, it's delicious. I love the cheese in it, but then you get hit with that Jamaica mango slaw. It gives it a little extra citrus. I love it. I really, really love it. You're really stepping it up today, huh? <laughs> you're like, you're like, foodies, come on in. We got some more food. But I'm gonna try these out. Ooh, it's just chili cheese good. with some cheese on top and onion rings, so quink. Okay, do we all join in? It's delicious. <laughs> got a little thirsty, so I got myself the peach tea slush. Look at that, peach tea honey slush. There's a little piece of peaches on top. Yeah, I saw that. And the hidden Mickey already melted. <laughs> Here we go. It's sweet, but not too overly sweet. I can definitely taste the peaches on there. And it's really fun that they added the peaches on top because they're, you know, but it tastes like a peach. Like you went like back to a peach and then you put some ice in it and then you went like that. <laughs> That's what it tastes like? Yeah. All right. Like a peach creamsicle. 
You gotta try it. Oh, I will. Mm. Trust me, I will. <laughs> there they go. How many they can see you? Can they? can see me. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Out of everyone, I got one wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a chili cheese burger, but look at this. You see that? That's fried macaroni and cheese. Oh my goodness. Fried macaroni <laughs> and cheese, and there's little crispy onions on, on the bottom. I already know I'm gonna love this. And I paid $1.99 extra and got myself the chili cheese fries, because- That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Here we go, let's try this out. Oh man. I'll tell you this right now. Hungry Bear is really stepping up their game. Very tasty, savory, and uh, it's not dry. Thank goodness. And then of course you got the crispy little onion on the bottom. Ooh, it's falling. And it's very crispy. You can taste the onion. And then of course you have that macaroni and cheese that's fried. So you get a little bit of that cheesiness. Plus you have American cheese. It's really good. And I do like the bread. All around, great burger. Something you should try here at the Hungry Bear. I'm <laughs> telling you guys, this is so delicious. I fell in love with that. I you know, like, we might get another one after this because it kind of reminds me of like a peach soda. Ah, I got a brain freeze. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was a scream of terror, not an excitement. All right. I uh, don't worry, I'm just as scared as you are. Yummy, nice and fresh. Everyone loves the smell of fresh popcorn, huh? We just came back from Hungry Bear. We had that very tasty burger and those tasty onion rings and also that, that peach tea. Oh, so good. I recommend you guys try it. That was a 10 out of 10. Now we're gonna go over here to the Mint Jewel Bar. We're gonna try some very tasty beignets. Let's go. Thank you, Alice. Here it is. Let's do this. It's at the Mint Jewel Bar. They have this awesome banana beignets and for a dollar extra, you get yourself a creme anglaise. Well, it's caramel creme anglaise. Look, yum. Look at the bags. I just noticed that they're not the white ones that they usually give it to you. Oh, no, they're brown. They're brown. Hmm. But it doesn't matter about the bag. It matters about the food. That's true. You want to try them? I'll, I'll let you try them. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Here we go. Look how fluffy. <laughs> I say these are banana beignets and look, I like the yellow toe. Here we go. Mmm, I think I like that. Feels like French toast. <laughs> Dip it on the caramel creme anglaise. Here we go. It literally tastes like French toast. You don't, it's not an overpowering of banana, so if you don't like banana, maybe you'll like this. But it's not too artificial, like a banana artificial taste. But it is sweet and it Honestly, it tastes like French toast. And the creme anglaise is a little too sweet for me, but it does add a little extra caramel in there. So if you're craving something sweet for breakfast or something sweet, here's some of this. It's delicious. Yum. How are we holding up in there? Are we, are we still hungry or do we need a little break? I'm still hungry. I can still go. Me too. Let's keep on going. <laughs> oh, the Disneyland Pretty is <laughs> back out. Come on, guys. Come on. All right, so we're heading over to the Galactic Grill right now. It's getting a little busier here today at Disneyland, which is crazy, because earlier it was good. Yeah, and then all of a sudden everyone's like, let's go to Disneyland. Let's go to the park. <laughs> but now we're gonna check out this really cool burger here at the Galactic Grill. So over at the Galactic Grill, you guys, they have the passion fruit and guava orange slush. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now, if you're wondering, they still have the key lime slush, which is one of our favorites. It's just like a lime paleta. Let's try this one out, though. Yummy, cheers. I forgot to mention there's a glow cube in there, but you can't really tell because it's daytime. <laughs> I don't know if it's Galactic Grill's intentions, but all the slushes they've been coming out with, they remind me of some sort of childhood memory. Like this reminds me of Las, Los Paletas. You know the orange long stick ones? Yeah. Almost like the Rocket Pops, but The ones you used to sell like in, in elementary school. <laughs> yes, those. Like you just pull down, it's like the big orange one. It tastes literally just like that. So I don't oh. know, I'm looking around like, are y'all trying to... They're trying the to rekindle memory. those childhood <laughs> memories. Yeah. yeah, it's so sweet. Definitely taste the passion fruit, the orange, and the guava is one of my favorites, so I'm happy they added that in there. I don't think I'm gonna share this one with you. There she goes. Bye. <laughs> We're here at the Galactic Grill. We got ourselves a Hawaiian-inspired burger right here. I haven't opened it up. Now, one thing I do not like about the Galactic Grill is that the presentation is always a little off. This is what you get when you open it. A little, um, yeah. So just because it doesn't look great, doesn't necessarily mean it won't taste great. So let's try it out. Here we go. 
Oh man. So I probably said this like three times here at the Galactic Grill. It's a dry burger. Oh man. I always try to give it a chance and come back to Galactic Grill to get a burger and it's dry. Now that doesn't mean you can't get a good burger here at Disneyland. You can go over to the Lamplight Lounge, you can go over to Carnation Cafe, or if you want to go to Red Rose Tavern, they also have some very tasty, juicy burgers. But the Galactic Grill, mmm, and especially for the price that they're at. Now I do want to say that they have delicious slushes here and they have some great foods and sometimes they have some very tasty things like the the uh, Darth by chocolate, Janelle's favorite Yay! thing. So that doesn't mean everything's all bad here at Galactic Grill. They have some delicious stuff, but the burgers, they really need to work on them. Come on, Galactic Grill, you got this. Now, if you guys love the Gibson Grill ice cream, let us know what your favorite flavor is in the comments below. Is that it right there? Look at this. It's not my birthday, FYI, but look at that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, here at the Gibson Grill. This is brand new, guys. Look at this, it's got a little candle up top. If you're celebrating your birthday, you can get yourself one of these so that you can tell everyone, it's my birthday. It's, the, it's my birthday Sunday, and you also have some chocolate right there, some fudge, vanilla. Oh my goodness, and I believe there's a little cake underneath. We're gonna have to dig in to find out. And a little chocolate candle, very pretty. And this Mickey Mouse, like, bucket. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It looks really so cool. cool. Yeah, and then there's also the unbirthday version, which will say Disneyland on it. If it's not your birthday, you're not celebrating. But we wanted to show you this, which is really cool. All right, let's dig in. Oh my goodness. I love Gibson Girl. All right, let's grab that. Look. Whoa. Look at the cake. It's cake with ice cream. That is very good. Now, I do love the pastry on the bottom. It's very moist, very soft, it melts in your mouth. And of course, I love the fudge on top. It just adds a little bit of sweetness, a lot of chocolate goodness. And then you also have some vanilla ice cream right on top with some whipped cream and a, a little chocolate candle. I do love this. And I'm telling you, if it's your birthday and you want to celebrate, come over to Gibson Girl and check it out for yourself. I did warn you guys there's gonna be a lot of food. So if you're in there like, oh man, they're making me hungry, that's your own. All right, we're heading over to Disney's California Adventure now because they also have foods on this side too. There's just so much going on. So much, but I'm hungry still. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. We've taken little breaks here and there, so now we're ready to do it again. This is gonna keep us cool and yes. refreshed in this heat. <laughs> there are you guys. Pineapple and watermelon. I'm excited. <laughs> Cheers, Janelle. Cheers. All right, go ahead and try it out. It's like pineapple spear and a little bit of like sorbet in there, some coconut nibs. Cheers, you guys. Oh yeah, that's refreshing. I do want to mention though, this is alcoholic drink, so just an FYI. I dropped my pineapple. Oh no. I got too excited. I went like this and then it just went bloop. Oh, I'm sure the pineapple tasted good. If they're like the kind that they sell like the little shop with by Disneyland, then I'm sure they're good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a cider, so it's sweeter, it's crispier, and it's also light and refreshing. And the cocoa nibs add a little extra sweetness to it, so I really enjoy it. It's refreshing. I'm still sad about I'm still thinking about my pineapple on the floor right now, but it's okay. I'll get over it. We'll soon. go ask. I'll go ask them for you. <laughs> I'm sure okay. they'll give you another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right here on this side, we have the Sandianada hard float, and there's also some uh, watermelon sorbet in there, and you also have some alcoholic beverage inside of this, with a big watermelon, which I hope it doesn't fall. <laughs> Sorry, Janelle. All right, let's try it out. Wow. Okay, first off, it gives you a little kick, because it is a little spicy on top. If you don't like that, you might not like this. Let me take this off real quick. I'll tell you this, it's very refreshing. It almost has a tamarindo taste, but the watermelon comes after. It is citrusy. It does have a little bit of that cider like spice right here. <laughs> hey, and it's really good. I do like it, and I would definitely get it again here at the Clarabelle's. It's good that we come over here and just take a little break. Yeah, it's a little cedar. Food now. <laughs> yeah, right? But we're not done yet. There's like a few more. There's like an echo in here. 
Echo, echo. <laughs> In about 30 minutes, we'll get back up and we're gonna do that. What's it called? The schmoozies. Schmoozies, you guys. Schmoozies. <laughs> All right, so they also have the sandianada. You can come and get that too. We didn't get it this time because we've tried it before, but it's really good. It's a delicious sorbet with strawberries on there and they put some away. It's delicious. It's time for schmoozies. There it is, you guys, a cake shake. Wow. It's off for me. <laughs> and it matches my outfit too. It does, looks good. I didn't coordinate with it, but it happened. Instagram picture. Before it melts. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a shake like this before besides a black tap, right? Over a downtown Disney. Yeah. But they have one of these uh, schmoozies. Now this is called the confetti cake shake. Look! Oh my gosh, here we go. This is like a birthday cake. Like a birthday cake ice cream. Whoa, she went in it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's sweet. It's something definitely the kids will like because it's really, really sweet. You taste the frosting, it's creamy, the spongy cake, this is a must. This is so delicious and it's cute for Instagram too. See? <laughs> Look at this monster right here. This is the Mickey Mouse Banana Split Shake. Wow. Look how huge this is. <laughs> it looks amazing. You got a lot of fudge right there. You also have some peanuts and some whipped cream, some Oreo cookies and that cherry on top. For the Instagram people, <laughs> they kind of love this, that's for sure. Let's try this out. That's very thick. <laughs> wow. What's crazy is you taste a lot of the banana more than anything else. I do taste vanilla, but mostly it tastes like a, a blended banana in here, almost like a banana shake. It's got a nice taste of chocolate too. And you got some whipped cream, some Oreo cookies right on top. <laughs> it's definitely a fun one. And you have to pick one up here at Smoothies. So now we're in front of the studio catering co because I heard there's some delicious new tacos and delicious drinks. So we're here to find out for ourselves. All right, guys, so here they are. The Thai chicken tacos as daikon. It has Thai chilies. It also has the flour tortilla, a little bit of lime on the side. Let's just dig in. I'm hungry. So. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of that sugar high from the shakes. That I need a little bit of like food or something. This will help. This will yeah. help. <laughs> Let me add a little bit of the... Those are some juicy tacos. Wow. It almost has like that sweet soy glaze, almost like a teriyaki sauce, and the Thai chilies give a little extra kick. I'm just saying, these are really, really good. It does get a little messy, a little bit like, it's like drenched in like meats and juices, but I'm not mad about it. You get your money's worth here. <laughs> but that line gives a little extra citrusy kick, balance everything out. Eight out of 10. <laughs> All right, this is the Island Living Drink. Look how beautiful that color is there. I do love the oranges, I love the yellow. Now this is pineapple lemonade with Fresno chilies in there. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's try this out. Hope it's not too spicy. It's good. <laughs> I'm trying to see, like, is there any kick? It's there, but it's very, very, very light. Like, you barely, like, from one to 10 in the spiciness and the kick, I'd probably say it's like a 1.2, like really low. <laughs> but it is sweet and it tastes a lot like pineapple. It's got a little hint of lemonade. It is really good. Refreshing also, and I do like that they put this in here. <laughs> After drinking this, the only thing I wish there was some of in here was rum. If there was rum in here, you'd have a oh heck goodness. of a drink. Nice. Yeah. Speaking of language. <laughs> so I got myself a little pick-me-up, and it's, this is called a Thai iced tea. Just simple like that. Here we go, give a little swirl, get all the favors in there. No, this is a no. No? <laughs> Strong, I had, huh? I had Thai iced tea before where I can, it's, it's, it's a subtle of, of the tea. This was, there's no tea, it's just all sugar. <laughs> I can, it just feels like, I don't know if you've seen The Office, but you know when Michael Scott, like Owen Pam asked for milk and sugar, and it's literally milk and sugar? Yeah. That's what it is. What do you guys think the next show should be here at the Hyperion? No more will you see Frozen, but if there is anything in there, what do you guys think it should be? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think it should be a Lion King show, Encanto? Like, you guys let me know. What do you think, Janelle? I think Aladdin. Bring back yeah. Aladdin. <laughs> she misses for Aladdin show. Yes. Isn't it always heaven when you're here at Disney and you finally find a bench or somewhere you can sit 
because it like, gets really busy. It's so hard to find a bench. And for the first time, Jenna and I were able to sit again. Just relax. I know. It took us a few hours to finally find a bench, and we found one. And it's relaxing. <laughs> So cozy cone that has a cookie dusted churro with a little cookie sauce on the side. So I'm gonna try the churro out first. So I just use the regular cinnamon, um, cinnamon churro, which I'm not mad about it. I mean, I love the churros here, yeah. but for some reason I was expecting like a sugar cookie flavor or like a cookies and cream flavor. So I just taste regular sh cinnamon sugar, but I'm not mad about it. Dip it with the dipping sauce there. Good. <laughs> now they glaze it kind of reminds me of the cinnamon like cinnamon frosting that you put on the cinnamon rolls do you know what i'm talking about it's pretty good actually it's pretty good i'm not mad about it it's, del it's delicious but it's supposed to be a cookie dusted churro, churro which i was expecting cookies and cream flavor or like maybe a sugar cookie flavor or maybe like a butter cookie all right so when you guys are here and you try it out let me know if it tastes like a cinnamon roll because i feel like i'm not crazy yeah that's it tastes what like it's a like cinnamon roll right the cinnamon roll churro not a cookie and cream it, yeah but is this something that you should get here fast? Probably not. I think skip this and... It's fun. I would say it's fun. That from Hungry Bear, I'm still thinking about that. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. have dreams about it tonight. That was, was pretty good. good. That peach iced tea and that watermelon drink at watermelon the, the San Dianada. Oh, oh man. I can go for another one right Me now, to be, <laughs> to be honest. You want to have a rollicking good time? Yes. <laughs> it's chilly now, something like this. It, it's getting cold, yes. <laughs> So now we got to pick a car, and it looks like everyone's trying to get one. I wonder what color Janelle's gonna pick. No, I don't know. I love pink. Orange. Come on, come on. Come on in. Go. Oh. Woo! Dancing with everyone, guys. This is probably the only time I can say I can dance. <laughs> You're a good dancer, actually. Well, thank Fun you. Fact. Oh my God. <laughs> We're about to go for a spin. Here we go! Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ta da! Very cool. That was fun. That was fun. Great dance, you know. Thank you. It was a pleasure dancing with you. It's a pleasure dancing with you, too. This is a spicy guacamole cheeseburger that you can get here at Flo's V8, and it's beautiful wow something straight out of a diner that's for sure it also comes with steak fries and a pickle which i'm gonna claim i know you are <laughs> i know you are <laughs> all right let's try this burger it's a really gorgeous looking burger the bread looks very nice too let's look right here and get it all right there it is look how beautiful that thing looks like wow it's a gorgeous looking burger that's for sure all right here we go Galactic Grill. Take note, this is how a burger is done. Wow, very juicy, it's very tasty, and of course, savory with the crispy bacon, the avocado, delicious, and I do love the bread they use. It is a wonderful burger. And if you wanna try it out for yourself, check it out at Flo's V8, it comes with steak fries, I love it, and I would probably say it's good enough to share, just cut in half, you know, if you just want a snack. But I do love this. It's really good and it's great because it's here in Radiator Springs. Ooh, how spicy. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, it's got a little kick. Yeah, I forgot to mention that part. I was like, wait. I just love the kick that I was so used to it. Because it does say spicy guacamole cheeseburger on there. But yeah, from a one to like ten in spiciness, I'd probably say it's about a three or a four. Yeah, right. It's a three or four. It's not that spicy. It's a, it has a little heat to it. So yeah, like, it does. But from one to ten, like I think five. it's three or four. Five? Yeah. No way. I can feel it like burning right here. <laughs> slowly. And it's happening. Is that like a tense burn? So I would say a four or five. How about that? Yeah, all right. Four point five. Four and five. <laughs> Confused them already. Oh, no. Now, it's time for some Starbucks. Yes, I know it is 9 p.m., but you know what? Please don't judge me. Well, We're, I'm going to have to edit I'm gonna late. I'm going to stay up really late to I'm edit. Need so <laughs> we need some little bit of pick-me-up because, to be honest, we have coffee all day today besides that sugary drink that we uh, had no. over at the Studio um, Catering Co. So, so now I need a little caffeine. coffee because I'm going to have to stay up tonight and I have to yes. edit. 
And if I do not get some coffee, I'm gonna be like this while I'm editing. Uh. <laughs> oh, my ears! <laughs> oh, no. Man, we had a great time here at Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure. We tried a lot of tasty foods today. Galactic Grill needs to work on a few things, but let me tell you, they got some great food, so we're not blaming them. I'm yes. sure they'll work on it. And uh, we also enjoyed that tasty birria. A tasty toasted birria cheese. toasted cheese sandwich, you guys, if you're here. Get yourself that first, because I'm <laughs> telling you, that was so, so delicious. And if you go over to Hungry Bear, try out that peach tea. I'm oh telling you. Oh my goodness. That peach tea I can still think of now. <laughs> and if you want to stay refreshed, go over to uh, Clarabelle and try yourself one of those sandinadas. Sandinadas, are... oh. so you're feeling up for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we just want to say thank you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Yeah. It's time to subscribe. Don't forget to like because it really helps out our videos. We just <laughs> really want to thank you. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the awesome comments. But well, we'll see you guys here next time on, on the, the wonderful, wonderful world of food. Bye. Bye.